YouTubers, uh, again welcome back. Uh, update of the video I put out uh, capacity test on my 12.7 kilowatts. The results are in. Had two comments, two very good supporters, Average Joe and Bobby from Bobby Solar Homestead. Uh, Average Joe was the guest of 11 kilowatt hours on the house side, 12 kilowatt hours on the batteries. Now, average Joe, how do I calculate off the batteries? I've got nothing to measure it. I assume my inverter loses 100 watts per hour. But when I math out that, it took about 40 hours for the test, it, it doesn't add up. Anyway, the results are in. On the house side, if you can see that, 11.35 kilowatt hours. Very happy with. Now, to give you an idea how the batteries perform. Alright. Set 1, set 2, set 3. Set one, set two, set three. Now the difference between the lowest bank and the highest bank was 0.36 of a volt. 2.98 was the lowest. And the next two banks were 0.31 volt difference and 0.22 volt difference. Not surprised with the set three because it is the newest pack I've made. That's supposed to equal that on that to that one on paper, those seven to those seven. Uh, but either way, very good, big big difference at the lower end. Now, like I said, my multimeter is not the accuratest, but if it's measuring inaccurate, it should measure the same across the board. Uh, hence why I couldn't get the top end to be exactly 4.2. Now, that is pretty good because uh, 2.98. I don't want that to drop any lower. Because once it starts dropping below the 3 volt, it really deteriorates the pack and the voltage drops so much quicker, faster than the 1929 stock market crashing pack. So, very happy with, obviously you could say, well, wouldn't I balance it at the bottom end? The answer is no, because at the top end, some of these packs are certainly overcharged like that over the 4.2. So, yeah, these are the values of all the packs at the 11.5 kilowatt hour test and is what they were according to my multimeter at full charge but uh, in saying that I charge them using these and keep topping them up make sure they're perfect rather than just rely on the inverter over the course of the seven packs but that's nothing to be very upset about because look at that 11.35 kilowatts and so like I said in the past three sets they are 7S80P times 3, my math's no good, but it's something like 11, uh, no, 1680 cells somewhere. Either way, regardless, that is very good. And once again, thank you for all those who watched the video, and thank you for the only two who actually made comment and helped support me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this update, and keep a watch out for the next videos keep up to date with please subscribe please follow what I'm doing and I very much most appreciate your time in watching my videos thank you again and you'll see me next time around bye bye